QT2 is a new generation, three-phase, quad microinverter developed by AP Systems. It adopts a brand new topology structure and is the world's first multi-module microinverter product that matches high current and high power PV modules. Before installing the product, check to ensure that all accessories are complete. Confirm that the local grid voltage matches the voltage level indicated on the AP Systems microinverter label and prepare the corresponding installation tools. Additionally, please refer to the AP Systems product datasheet and local grid specifications to determine the selection of circuit breakers, as well as the maximum number of microinverters that can be connected to each branch. Based on the design diagram, determine the pre-installation position of the microinverter. Next up, installing the AC bus cable. First, pre-arrange the AC bus cable in a suitable location for connecting the microinverter. And connect one end of the bus cable to the AC branch extension cable through an AC connector or junction box. Connect the AC branch extension cables of all branches to the main service cabinet or to a combiner box first and then the main service panel. Before installing the microinverters, mark each installation location first and be aware not to lift or carry the microinverters by the AC cable as that can potentially damage the unit. Do not install the microinverter or the AC-DC connectors where they may be exposed to direct sunlight, rain, and snow, including the gap between modules, and ensure that there is sufficient ventilation and heat dissipation space around the microinverter. When performing grounding operations, use a grounding washer, which is included, and be sure the washer faces and presses against the bracket. Alternatively, use a grounding copper wire to ground the system, ensuring that the bracket is grounded in a suitable manner, or ground by connecting the PE in the bus to the ground rail. When connecting the T-Bus, connect the microinverter branch cable and the bus cable in sequence, and confirm completion by listening for the click sound. If you need to disconnect the branch cable from the bus cable, use the 5 core connector unlock tool to unlock it. For T branches that are empty in the middle of the bus, use a bus cable con cap to seal the unused port, and use an end cap to seal the end of the bus cable. When connecting on the DC side, first remove the DC connector cover included with the microinverter and then connect the microinverter to the corresponding modules. Do not connect the DC cables of the same module to different channels of the inverter. When the microinverter is powered on for the first time on the DC side, the LED light will flash green several times to indicate that the inverter is starting up. For the different layouts, use DC extension cables of different lengths there is an unused channel on the microinverter, use a DC male-female connector cap for protection. After the microinverter is installed, remove a UID or serial number label on the product and place it on the module frame and then array map diagram separately. The ECU is AP Systems' state-of-the-art energy communication unit used to collect various performance data from the microinverter and monitor the system operation in real time. The ECU should be installed in a location as close to the inverter as possible, indoors or in a waterproof enclosure. After completing the network connection, use the EMA Manager app on the phone to scan the serial numbers you placed on the array map diagram in order to add each inverter to the ECU. After completing the EMA account registration, 
close the PV side circuit breaker. At this time, the microinverter will generate electricity and communicate with the ECU, and its LED light will flash green every 5 seconds. If the product needs to be replaced, first disconnect the PV side circuit breaker. Then disconnect the connection between the microinverter and bus cable and PV module in that order, and then replace the product. During the operation of the system, the wireless communication module within each microinverter emits wireless signals to communicate with the ECU. Users can access real-time and historical power generation data of the system anytime and anywhere through a mobile phone or computer interface, and can also enter the module page to view the power generation status of each module. The QT2 microinverter from AP Systems makes the operation and management of photovoltaic systems simpler and smarter.